All right. So they on newbie vet. Got two special guests. We got the Dickinson family. Yep. Oh, yeah. Chosen so how y'all doing? We're doing good. Yeah, doing okay. good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Love y'all energy, man. Beautiful show, man. I love you. You know, love the energy. Thank you. Appreciate so how y'all, appreciate how y'all day been? Our day's been great. I'm yeah. tired. Awesome. All tired. tired. Just a little bit, but, you work, know. Work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> tired. Tired. Okay, so let's get into it. So let's get into it. So you're originally from Virginia? Yep, West Virginia. West Virginia mm-hmm. and New York? Yep. Okay, okay. So tell me a little bit about Virginia, your history um, Virginia. I stay in Bluefield, West Virginia down there. And country. Country as hell. It's man. country? Country. And sh- really, that's the most, Bluefield, West Virginia got the most black people in West Virginia there. But like, right. as far as when it comes to West Virginia, right. but um, I mean, it was nice growing up, man. Like, shit, just being outside, you mm-hmm. know, riding a bike down the damn mountains and shit. Country as hell though, but nothing to do. I'll take her there, she be ready to come back. <laughs> yeah, why is that? <laughs> It don't be nothing First to do of all, down there, man. And then the whole It'd be good to see his family. Okay. <laughs> I like to see the family I like to eat. Okay. Right. But other than that, it's just a bowling alley, a bar, in the bowling alley. And, and a strip club. We got a mall too. We got a mall. In the mall, you can say, who in here? And that bitch go go through the whole <laughs> Who in here? Go through the whole thing. Echo, echo through that. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, yeah, you can I'd be go. ready to go, but I, I like to stay with his grandma. Yeah, that's the whole she reason feed, why I even she love feed going us. Feed. Okay, right. Every time Good. she see you, you hungry? Mm-hmm. You hungry? We'll be like, we're all right. Good mm-hmm. country cooking. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. what I love. Oh yeah, and she make that macaroni and cheese. Now she don't, she don't ha, like ha, it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you <laughs> eat sugar in your macaroni and cheese? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. Go ahead, proceed. No. You eat she, sugar in your macaroni and cheese? She yes. put sugar in the macaroni and cheese. All the men but there. Like, like, like a sprinkle? No, like no, she, sugar. Like, like an you, ingredient. Like, like, like how you do yeah. spaghetti. Yeah. Oh, okay. She do and I mac- heard of sugar in the spaghetti. Yeah. Nah, I eat sugar mm-hmm. in my spaghetti, but not in my macaroni and cheese. Man, that should be busting. Yeah. She well, you know, like, a lot of people put sugar in canned food. You trying to it. justify <laughs> the fact that. No, man, that, if you use the can, you got a little sugar, you know, put a little sweet in it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you use for the. You know, for that, but bro, that ain't be busting. You hear me? And see, <laughs> she, she, it look about, good. Uh, uh, it uh, look uh, good. Uh, I ain't even gonna flex because. So you don't eat it? No, I I tried it. And that's my favorite. But it's too sweet. Right. I I'm looking for the savory. Oh, you looking for the, the cheesy? Yeah, the like boldness. Wow, yeah. Like, uh, Not no. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-mm. Oh my! All right, All right you gonna, get, you gonna get, get off my macaroni and cheese. Period. <laughs> so, but it was cool though growing up for you though. Oh yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. It was nice. Um, been you know, we, shit. We went from elementary school, middle school, same people, same. I mean, because it's really not the population. Probably like shit, ten thousand, if that. So, I mean, shit. You know everybody, see everybody. So it was just it was good growing right, up. Right, 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 right. So what about you in New York? Okay, I was born in Harlem. Harlem, okay. Period. Straight up. Okay. So we moved from Harlem. Okay, you know where Albany is? Albany, Georgia? No. New York. Okay, we're still in New York. Okay, I'm And on. then, I'm then we moved. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> then we moved to Schenectady. Schenectady, New York. And then I stayed there all the way up until ninth grade. Okay. And then we moved down here. Okay. So, so you experienced the fast life and all that. Mm-hmm. Up there, so. so it and diversity. Right. Right. So when I moved down here, it was a culture shock to be in the school with. I went to Glen Hills to start okay. off with. Okay. I went from a school that had so many different nationalities. Right. My best friend was white. Right, so you had white friends in New York. Yeah, yeah like, right, right, right. it was normal. But it was normal for everybody doing it, right? Yeah, so like, when I came down here, it was like, you ain't please don't make me go to that school. <laughs> it is different. Why, like, why, why could it be Because it was like, coming from seeing all the different it be mixed. nationalities in school right. and it being normal to be, oh, you see little Johnny over there, and you see Bonquisha over here, <laughs> right. and we see, Jesus over here, it was normal, like, but then coming here, you see Banquisha, you see Keisha, you see 
Sharkey, Sharkey, yeah, all of them. Yeah, yeah. And they wasn't <laughs> playing with new people coming to their school. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, Because yeah. you're a threat. Yeah, and you see yeah. the difference in how I carried myself compared to them. Right. I was quiet because I like to observe my surroundings. Right. So they ain't like that. Right, right. So I looked at my mama and was like, yo, if I have to keep going here, y'all, I'm going to drop out. <laughs> because at this point, it's too many black kids. And I could count the different nationalities in the school that wasn't normal to me right so i end up like getting to like to be at glen hills and then she ripped me from it so i went from glen hills to cross creek now it's too many of the others <laughs> and i'm looking like well why you took me from here because yeah, 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 now, yeah, yeah, yeah. now we went from jordans and jerseys and all that white tees to cowboy boots and vans you know, right, yeah right. so it was like again so it's a shirt. question though we want it we want to know a little bit so what was y'all what was the reasoning for moving for y'all moving to augusta well for me my mom she moved up here i was like in the fifth grade she moved up here about 2000 and you know, I just came up here with her. Usually, um, I was staying with my grandma for most of the time, but then, you know, I, I wanted to go live with my mom and be with my brother, you know what I'm saying? Help her out. And um, shit, we ended up moving up here, man, and been up here ever since. Okay. Mm -hmm. She just wanted to change, I guess. So with me, it was my Nana. She moved down here. Then my grandpa moved down here. So then we would come visit every summer. Right. But then it got to the point where, y'all want to try to go to school here? Yeah, we'll try it. Oh, that's how they get you, start asking y'all questions. Yeah, and then you, <laughs> you get stuck and be like, yo, when we going back home? Because here, they started school August. Right. Up there, we started school September, so we had a whole month to be like, nah, we don't want to go to school. Yeah, we want to go to school. No, we don't want to go to school. Then my mom was like, oh, they going to school down here. Uh -huh. And it was like, she was still up there. We started high school here. And it was like, different. Different. Mm -hmm. Oh man! Oh, so, but y'all wind up adjusting and, yep. and stuff like that. So, oh yeah. What were some ways that y'all had to do down here to adjust in Augusta back during the back in those days? For me, man, like I had to get up out my shell, man. I was always so shy, even like when it came to girls and stuff. Like, cause back home, I was so used to people always coming to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when I came up here. I had to get out of that shit. I had to really open up, you know what I'm saying? Like like how she is, I usually just stay to myself, things like that, but shit, I wasn't making no friends, which really didn't matter, but at that time, you know, I w wanted to talk to girls and shit, and nobody would, you know, because I just I always stayed to myself. I was scared, right. I was too scared, so I had to get up out that shit. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were basically just, Paying paying attention to the, your surroundings. Right, I'm I'm still, like still, I'm still like that. Still just observing. I'm still like that now. Yes. Yeah, I only been in Augusta four years. So, mm. you know, so I, are you I'm still, still like? like yeah. I'm still like that. So yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. what about you? With me, I had to. I would say stop. How can I say this? I had to calm down Would because you I. Yeah, I'll be quick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't married, right? Yeah, I had, cause, because I used to yeah. feel like people would try me because of my Cause, size. Because you're short. Yeah, and then because mm -hmm. of how they see me. Just because I dress like this or act like this to myself, like him, doesn't mean that I'm not friendly. Right, right. So then it used to be as if somebody, I used to feel like they trying, trying me. Mm -hmm. And then I would have to prove myself. That's what it got to the point where I, I felt like I had to prove myself and I didn't really have to. Right. Because I'm a ball of sunshine when you get to know me, but if you cross me, then it's different. Right. So how can you expect to get this if you're treating me like that? Mm -hmm. Right. That's how it you was for me. You get that same shit back. Right, right, right. Right, right. cool, cool. All right, so how do y'all two wanna meet? You know, Cross yeah. Creek at the creek at the creek. Yes, man. Right. So Cross Creek High School. Y'all both got Y'all both going. You know, going to school at the creek. Mm -hmm. How did y'all want to meet? And then how did that interaction happen? You want to tell her? You want to 
about his version or mine? You, you nah, take your you, version first. All right. Well, I used to see her in the hallways all the time. <laughs> Me? Now, I I wasn't one of them that stay in the hallways and want to hang out and shit like that. Like, I used to go right to class. I yeah, ain't even sit gonna lie. in class first. And just be in class. Even though I was bad, I wasn't, well, I wasn't really bad, but I just, I didn't try to be with the in crowd, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. And, um, but shit, man, we ended up having science class together. And I used to just, you know, trying to flirt and shit. I used pinch to me. pinch her. You know, <laughs> see, see, bro, I still was breaking out of that shit. You feel me? I, pinch me. I didn't know what to say, so shit. I Here's the pinch me. <laughs> I had to do hey, something to, to show. You get your attention with pain, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I just feel like, God damn. Hey, they, say, they say love is pain. Love is pain. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. It's so, the pain. Yeah, I used to damn do anything. Really, that was my main thing, but you know what I'm saying? Like, she she was always dating somebody, so, you know, I tried. Don't you hate that? Bruh. I hate, like, you don't even be in school, you're like, dang, like, we good for each other, but right. you. Right. <laughs> Bruh, he tried. Bro, she even blocked me off my space. Yeah, you know I went. My space was popping. My space, he was, was, my space was a shit. He was like consistent. You hear me? But I, when I date, <laughs> <laughs> when I was dating, I didn't want to, you know, disrespect who I'm with. So right. it's yeah, like, uh-uh. so, did, so you didn't know, you did see him. Yeah, I saw type. him trying. Oh, okay. Well, and, what was you thinking when you were trying? I was like, when I first saw him, I didn't really pay him no attention. Right. To begin with, hold in the up. beginning, hold and up. then I didn't notice nah, it. Was a whole no, oh, hold up! Let me I tell you. just came from alternative school, and that's when I saw him on a bus. I was getting on the bus, and I seen him walking, and I was like, "Yo, this man always wear black and white. Who is that? Yeah, wear black and white. Yeah, he because he just Bruh. had came from alternative, alternative school. school we had so I'm like, "Yo, this man black. always oh, wearing black and white all the time." So I was like, "Y'all, who is that?" And they told me. So I was like, "Oh, what's the truth?" <laughs> Hey, that's so, a funny shit, like, and you just know that you wear black and white all, all the time. time. So like, this man wear black and white all the time. I was like, yo, who is that? And they told me who he was, and I was like, oh, he look good. And I was like, no, can't talk to him because I had a boyfriend. Right. So, boom. We in English class. Yeah, English too. And I yeah. see people fighting over him, arguing over him. So I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. with two girls. Yeah, I was like, yo. And yeah. they was related. I was yeah. like, oh, I can't. <laughs> they was cut. <laughs> I was like, yo, mm-mm, he a slut bucket, can't do it. So you, you remember that day? I remember, bruh, to the, to, the, to the fullness. And then he used to try to <laughs> write me on MySpace, and I, mm-mm, then write me on. So after that incident, you're like, oh, hell no. Nah, yeah, he a dog. slut bucket, I'm going to have to fight him. <laughs> Well, but why do, okay, question. Why do, why did that be the first thing women resort to? Fight him. Right. No, like no, this, saying, oh, that, saying, that, saying like the man just just no good here, dog. Because oh, cause they, the ride, cause it was and, too many. And see, bro, I wasn't even. Oh, it's too many. Yeah, no, it was too. But the thing is, I wasn't even dating nobody. I didn't, too many hoes for me. I didn't have no girlfriend, no nothing. I he just, wasn't. He was just thoughting. The key word now, see, back then, slut bucketing. <laughs> But he he was just too much. It was like he looked good. All the girls wanted to talk to him, right. so I was content with who I was with because I ain't had to worry about nothing until you know they start wanting the person you with. Right. So then that's, that's when happen. yeah, that's what that it ended was, up being. But right. when we got out of school, it was like I worked at Saito with his mom. So I'm looking at her and I'm like, I know that lady. Oh, so you worked with his mom too? Yep. Oh. And I kept saying I I, was I in know co- her. I was in school, so yeah, he went away for college. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, it's a team effort. Okay. Yeah, so I went after the mama and was like, yeah, so your did. son named Brian? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, hey, I went to school with him. So this she after told your, him. After your, after your relationship? Yep. Ended. Okay. She told him, mm-hmm. and then we started back connecting, talking again. But I wouldn't talk to him while in school. Yeah, she damn sure did, man. I was real, like, senior year is when we got caught. No, no, that was well, that was junior because I, I I moved to um Charlotte. You did. Mm-hmm. Yep, he yep he left, she and we got caught. Kissed I kissed him, and then I ran. And after that, she never like, talked. Me. And I ain't talked to yeah, him no she more. Ain't talked to me no more. No. <laughs> Shit, I was froze at that point. <laughs> <laughs> we had that guy caught my attention, and I just I ain't talked to him no more after that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hurt me all the way until I got to school. Till we, you know, college. Then when graduated college high school and shit. Then I finally 
hear from her. I'm engaged at this point. Yeah, so he was engaged. Engage. Yeah, in college, right. you got That's what I'm saying. Yeah. See, I wasn't no dog. I just knew what I was doing in high school, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I always knew I wanted to settle down, you know what I'm saying? Right. I always wanted a family and shit, so yeah, I ain't and got that engaged. Was Right. Well, that's one. That's another thing. That, uh, going back to what you're saying, I, uh, like high school, th- uh, high school days. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's called. I, I don't consider it being the dogs. Cause I feel like you young, you a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gonna, you gonna, you, you, you ain't. Free. Yeah, yeah, you free. You ain't got no time. Right. You got no, no yep. time to worry. So you ain't looking for a wife in high school. <laughs> like, right. every, if that's the case, everybody had one out of high school. Yeah, for real though. <laughs> like, <laughs> for real. For no, real, right yeah, just being honest. So you know, but uh, but with females is different. Yeah, cause we date, <laughs> no, we date different. for longevity. We be like, right. yo, this is my man, ain't nobody finna touch him. Right, and that's on period. Right, right. But I couldn't do it. I just I couldn't do it. Can't do it right, right. But he say, he say he's glad that we didn't. Yeah. I, I I think it worked out for the best because if we did try in high school, we probably wouldn't yeah. never made it to where we you know at. What I'm so I had to spare some stuff. Or mm-hmm. Yes, sir. It just God was working, man. That's it. I couldn't have what I wanted then. I just had to be patient. and I got my queen. Right. That's what's up, man. That's beautiful, man. So y'all reconnected, and so uh, y'all reconnected, and y'all started right, right back getting back together, meeting and linking up. Y'all started dating. Like going on dates and different things like that, or it happened so quick. So quick damn. Like that. Yeah, because it was like we knew what we wanted. Mm-hmm. See, he I- was engaged. He was in Elizabeth City. Yeah, and, okay. and when I found out that he was engaged, I fell back because I'm like, I'm not finna. So now, so it's like the road, the, the table turned. Turn, turn, turn. Yep. But see, I knew what he, I wanted. He he was already. Right, so so but, I fell back. I didn't wanna. But shit, when she reached out, it was over. That was yeah. it. He came. And back down here, yeah. mm-hmm. like I, you know, I had to break that off, man. It wasn't, it wasn't too good for me, man. She was trying to change who I was. It wasn't like yeah. I just left, you know what I'm saying? Didn't have no reason. Shit, I, of course, I, I wanted her, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But at the same time, like that shit was just, it wasn't for me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you already, especially if it's already rocky and right. then a situation pops up that you really want. <laughs> right. Straight yeah, up. It's, it's like easy. That's why I was at, really. Yeah, and easy. see, I didn't even tell her, though. Yeah, I didn't know. You know? I didn't know until, like, we was getting ready to get married. No. Engaged. No, we. I had came down, and we started dating, the dating. Yeah, but I didn't know about her until, like, late. Because she wrote me. Mm. She wrote you? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I found out. Oh, and then I just looked at him like. Hold up. Like wrote you like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. It wasn't like no disrespectful, nothing. Okay, yeah. that shit, I like that shit. Yeah, it was like we really just, right. we talked and I, I didn't know, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Were you, were you asking <laughs> questions? Like were you trying to push the thing or she she did the talk? She did the talk. I, I let her talk to me. Oh, okay. Okay. And then I just answered what she wanted to know. <laughs> and then I told him. <laughs> then I told him I was oh, like, yo. So I, that's how that shit went too. So yeah. I know, so I, I know your heart was pounding. Oh, you was straight. Nah, that nah, shit he was, was pounding. pounding. <laughs> I ain't know. I ain't know what. He know how I was gonna act. I ain't know. I ain't care about that. I just ain't know how the hell she was going to act. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, shit. I mean, I ain't. Hey. Hey, that's like one guy's biggest fear is when an ex or somebody call their they, they current girlfriend mm-hmm. or they just want to be on the phone and say, time. Yeah, <laughs> looking like, like, what y'all talking about? What you saying? Hey, why are you walking out yep. the road? Stay here. And then mm-hmm. in the midst of him coming back, we had the whole summer to be under each other like every day. Yes. We didn't let each other breathe. It was like, he was going here, I'm going to. Mm-hmm. I'm going here, he was going to. Always. It was like we was always together. Mm-hmm. Then he, when it was time for him to go back to school, I found out I was pregnant. Mm-hmm. So our first baby I was about to go came back. within the first couple of months of us just being together all the time. Dang. Yeah. But we wanted, you know, we wanted our, our child too. Mm-hmm. We were actually trying to. I was trying to make him go back to school. And I'm like, well, when it's time, you know, everything come, I'll call you so that you could. He was there the whole time. So, up. which was good because that's when we found out that um, she had sickle cell. Mm-hmm. So we had two with sickle cell. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
So mm-hmm. how like uh dealing with a child that got sick cell, like how is that? Like cause you can't really you can't stressful. Yeah, stressful, yeah. bro. Cause there's nothing you can do as a parent. It's like man. heartbroken. Right. Like you be heartbroken. Right. Because you see them going through And it's nothing that you can really do. Except for give them medicine, of course, but you know, like just being a parent, man, you wanna do more than just that and that shit just have right. you. Yeah, make me cry. I see it coming. I see it coming. Wanna take a pause? Yeah. You wanna take a pause? But being around those things make y'all tough as a family. It does. You know, because yeah. I feel like a family is is tough by so much, you know, problems and and, and tribulations that comes their way. So yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, make um, it through. And just be wishing that you could do more. Right. Because we didn't know we were. We wasn't aware. And that's the thing we need to let and make, make clear so people, African Americans, because he knew he had a trait. I didn't know I had it. So it came from, uh, from your trait, your, your side. From yeah, him. I, had a, I, I got the sickle cell trait, and she was a carrier of the disease. Mm-hmm. But she didn't find out. I didn't until, know until after our second daughter came. So is there what, is like could they like is there something like they could give you that could try to prevent it, or just it you can't stop it, or just it would. If you get with another trait carrier, two sickle cell trait carriers make a sickle baby. Mm-hmm. So if we would have known that, right. we wouldn't have changed having our child, but we would have been, been more knowledgeable. Right, right. Because we didn't learn we this didn't stuff. Know and, they just hit us. and we were young. Mm-hmm. I had just turned 20 mm-hmm. and had her, and they told us, told me I had sickle cell and told him he was a trait carrier. Mm-hmm. Then. With my second oldest, we knew she was going to have it too because of how sick I was. So it was like they told us with the oldest, one out of every four. Yeah, that's what the doctor told us. that one. So we're like, if Desire has it, then Soraya is going to be okay. But it wasn't that case. It was Desire has it, Mm -hmm. Soraya has it. It's like flipping a coin. So they just pick and choose. Yeah. No, but they told us that one out of every four would not have it. So that's why we No, she said one out of every four. One yeah, just one out of the just four. Have it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then remember when we went to the genetic counseling, that's when she said it's flipping a coin. So mm-hmm. then when we found out we was pregnant again with the third baby, I was scared. Cause at this mm-hmm. point it was like I keep producing sick babies. That's how I felt. And then it. So then, if they crying, they little, they crying, you don't know what's wrong besides looking. Right. That's all you can do because at that age, they can't tell you. Yeah, they can't tell you. So, it's been nights where he could be asleep because I know he got to go to work. I just get up and go to the emergency room, take them by myself. I get screened at by my mama, him, my dad, because. It's my child. So I just felt like with him being the person that was providing and taking care of the household, I would, who am I to wake him up when I could do it myself and go to the hospital? But he used to still right. get up. Right. right. Got to, man. Yeah, yeah. Again, that got to be tough on you, man, having to go into work knowing that, you know. Mm-hmm. you know. Yes. That just used to play on me so much, man. Like sometimes I couldn't even you know, work safe like I want to, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm so worried about them and looking at my phone and with, you know, I ain't I ain't care cause shit, if I gotta leave, I'm gone. That's my family. Yeah. Well, that's one thing I had, that's one thing I think they need to fix on these jobs, certain jobs that no phone. Right. Cause if you got sick family members or yeah, sick you, never you know. need to be able to hit you directly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause mm-hmm. sometimes you might call the main office, they're not there. It, you know, and it get transferred to somebody else, and then mm-hmm. that message gets to the supervisor, and your supervisor he gonna put the job before your personal business first, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> and yeah. tell you on your and lunch break. Crazy. And that's another reason why I couldn't stand working for anybody else, mm-hmm. because that's, when they call me about my child, I'm right. gone. Right. Mm-hmm. And see, we ain't really trust daycares and yeah. stuff like that, man. So I wanted her to be at so home, I stay at home, even home. though she didn't want to at some points. You know, but I always seem more for her, man. I didn't want her working for somebody. Shit, I'll do that shit. I don't want to work for nobody. Right. So I definitely want my queen you working want your for queen somebody. Do, right. That's, that's, that's love, man. That's, that's love. That's love. So, so how, um, 
how did the salon wind up coming into play? Like, cause you do hair. Mm-hmm. So how did that wind up coming into play? Okay, me and my best friend. <laughs> I made her go back to school right after she walked across the stage to get her um, pharmacy tech. She walked across stage, graduated, and I'm like, okay, you ready to go to the hair show? Went to the hair show. I'm like, we can, this could be us. You ready? She like, I'm ready. She went back to school, she took her state board. I took my state board in 2014, and COVID came. It was like, you was out of work. Mm -hmm. You was out of work. You was still working. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was like rocky. And I was making my clients, you know, my steady little pocket change because he wouldn't let me contribute to nothing. Just pocket the money. And me and my best friend talked. And we was like, we're not going to tell the husbands what we about to do. Right. If we're going to do it, we just need to do it. Right. So they didn't know what we was doing. We went out looking, couldn't really find nothing that really like suit just us two. So we get to think about a month of looking. And Sherman and Hem Street had called me and was like, um, are you still interested in the suite? And I'm like, I ain't never called about a suite. But where is it? I said, where is it? He said, Peach or Chiro. So I'm like, yes, sir. I'm interested. So went to go look. I'm telling my, my best friend was working at the time, but she still was going to do both. Right. So she was like, go ahead and go look. I trust you. When I went in this place, it was so ugly. <laughs> it was so it was. ugly. When I say ugly, it was tan and pink. And I'm like looking like uh, I got a vision though. Yeah, at this point. <laughs> At this point, I had a whole vision. <laughs> so I'm like, with the vision coming, we can use this. Right. So I'm like, yo, I think this is the spot. She was like, whatever you say, you think it's good, I'm with it. So I told the man, I was like, we want it. He was like, you sure? I was like, yes, sir. So he called me. He was like, um, I'm going to run your credit. I'm going to do this. I'm like, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We ain't about to get it. We ain't got it. We ain't about to get it, Lord. So I prayed. Right. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. I still didn't want to tell him, but then at this point, it's like, babe, I'm waiting for this man to call. Hopefully he be done call me. If he don't call me by next week, I'ma call him. It was like on that. So then my sister called. Every time the phone rang, I'm like, it don't be him. So I'm on the phone with my sister. I'm telling her like, yo, I really hope this man called me. It's been about a week and a half and I ain't hear nothing back. So I guess right. I ain't get it. So at this point, I'm starting to get discouraged because everywhere we went right. was too high. Right. So when we got dip, you know, the suite, when I went in there, I'm like, this is perfect because it's just two of us. Mm -hmm. So he calls while I'm on the phone with her. I'm like, girl, let me call you back. He called me. I got to hear what he about to say. So when I called him, when he, I answered the phone, I was like, hello. He was like, Miss Dickerson. I was like, yes, sir. He was like, you been approved. I'm screaming on the phone with the man. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Ain't nobody but <laughs> Yes, I'm like, thank so you, God. So with COVID going around, I'm like, this is our chance to show people that we really are serious about our work right. mm -hmm. and that they won't take us for granted like how they did in the house. Right. Because when you're in the house, you can't charge shop prices. Right. Mm -hmm. When you're in the shop, you got to sink the shampoo bowl, right. you got the dryers, you got right. your stations. Right. Like they respect that more of right. having that experience. Right. So say that again, say that again for right. one more time, please. Cause a lot of, cause what it is, okay. A lot of hairstylists have a lot of complaints because they feel like they do a lot of good hair, but they feel like they can do, they should be able to get the clientele and the respect doing it from their home. But then, you can't then the, then the place. because nobody don't want to hold their head over the sink. Mm -hmm. That hurt my back trying to reach over you, trying to, trying to do that. And that's hurting you with your head up in the sink. Now we got to sit you at my table with a hooded dryer hoping that your hair get dry, you ain't got to stay in my house no longer than I want you to stay in my house. But when you have a shop, they respect that more because they're getting a the whole experience. Right. Mm -hmm. So like with my clients, you can only book. With her clients, you can only book because I don't want nobody coming in, walking in. You want your hair retwisted 
and you don't want no style, but you want your hair shampooed, retwisted style. Yeah. You may want a treatment. Mm -hmm. And then now you got to wait because I'm on this person, but you are walking right. and you expecting to get seen. Right. Not with us. We have it where you have to book through the app right. and it block off your time. So your right. time is your time. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how we got here. It's not free. Yeah. Here. You got to be able to book. Yep. Yeah. That let you that filter out the ones that's full of shit and the ones that's about to be exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Exactly. Way better. Way better. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so how, how, how you feel? I know you felt awesome for her when you, know, you got the shop and you know, you're like. I was so proud of her, man. Because that's what I always had wanted for her. Right. Man. So, I was just proud as hell because I knew what she was going through as far as trying to find a place. Like, because shit, we even tried that damn salon. Yeah, Central. I was getting ready. Um, the one off of Bobby Jones where they got all the sweets, like a flea market mm -hmm. full of. But the way they was doing it right. was like. And then they talking about 800 a month. A week. Yeah, we. You yeah, gotta pay like, a week. like every week you pay a certain amount. That damn but place. by the time you reach your amount at the end of the month, it's like, what are you pocketing? Right. Your money is going into them because they paying, you paying for- And there's for, people actually out there booking these places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, but see, opening the salon actually triggered a lot of new things with us. Like I found out I had anxiety and panic attacks. Hmm? Which I ain't never experienced ever. Ever. Like never until Thanksgiving. Yeah, Man. that too. We felt yeah. like you felt like you about to die. Yeah. Right. Okay. You might as well. <laughs> you might as well <laughs> shit. I'm the type of person that's on a natural high. Right. So I don't need anything to boost me up. Right. Period. Or to simmer me down because I'm already like up there all the, already, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. So I was okay. I was able to eat edibles and all that other stuff and be good. Mm -hmm. But when I opened up the salon, that was what the doctor say new added stress. Mm -hmm. From COVID. being a stay at home mom to now being out doing stuff that I never did openly and COVID coming right. and being scared of being around COVID and people right. coughing and sneezing Especially and all that stuff. Yeah, so right. I used to right. be like, oh, you coughing? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Yeah, you can't right. be around. Spraying. Especially, he coming yeah, to house. Yeah. yeah, so I used to be They're extra real. cautious. Yeah. So Thanksgiving last year. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Okay, so I took a edible, mm -hmm. a corner. And it was my kids edible. Right. For they see. One of our classmates make it and he's a cannabis chef. Right. And so I took a corner before letting them try the Rice Krispie treat. Right. I took a corner of it and I ate it and I'm I was fine. Yeah. I was fine. She ended up smoking. No, I smoked before then. Oh yeah, before the edible. Yeah. And then I was I was good. So I was sitting there we watching Invisible Man. I don't watch scary movies. So you ate the edible Watching the Invisible Man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. It, it's gonna all. I see where it's going. I see where it's going. Go ahead. So I'm watching. I don't watch nothing scary. Yeah, he be trying. I be like, uh, uh, ain't getting in my spirit. Right. Even if I don't want to fight them. Bro, I can up. wake up and tell Turn you everything you done said or everything that the TV done said while I'm sleep. Oh, okay. So I be like, mm, mm. So we watching the movie. I'm, I'm like, okay, it's not scary. So hmm. I'm like, yo, I'm tired. Finna go to bed. <laughs> so he was like, all right. I'm walking to the back. I get in the bed. Good doctor is on. Right. It's gone all tying together, so just follow me. <laughs> good doctor is on. I'm, I'm watching good doctor until I doze, trying to doze off, right? Right. right. I hear. I look. I don't see nothing. We just watch Invisible, Invisible Man. Man. Hell yeah, so she. So now at this point, I'm like, yo, my heart done started thumping. And then I'm like, ain't nobody in here, so I'm chilling. I'm watching the doggone good doctor. Right. So I hear. <laughs> now I jumped up again. Heart going even worse than the first time. So I'm like, yo, what's going on? So I get up, I run out there. I'm like, babe, which one of them keep running in the room? Cause every time I look, I don't see nobody. So boom. All right. How old Brian is? Five. Mm -hmm. Our five year old was running back and forth in the room thinking it was funny. 
Right. So now my heart is racing. I'm like, yo, now I got to sit out here with y'all until I calm down. Now I'm calming down. When I calm down, I'm going back in the room. I come up. Hiding. He hiding in the bathroom <laughs> while I'm getting a cup of water. Now I just calmed down now. Oh, I done shit. experienced my heart rate going up like without doing anything. Doing anything, right. So this is while I'm in the shop doing people hair. If too many people is in the room, I'm like, yo, it's too, it's I'm like, freaking out. yeah, like, they just sitting here looking at me like, right. I'm trying to do hair. And right. <laughs> so I run, I see him on the corner of my eye. Instead of me screaming or running, I just turned back around and went back she in the little room. Yeah, she didn't scream or nothing. I was like, oh, shit. Because I know I saw something on the side. So did he come out? And I was like, I knew you was in there. So now I'm extra scared. So I'm sitting back out there again, sitting there until I calmed down. My heart rate went down. She went Mind you, I had done smoke. Had I had a corner of an edible. Right. So now they playing with me at this point. <laughs> so I go back in the room. I'm laying down. Good doctor still on. I'm like, okay, y'all, please don't scare me because I'm trying to go to sleep. Right. So I'm laying down, watching TV, <laughs> eyes closed, and I hear, boop, like somebody died. Good doctor Good on, doctor. right? Damn. Now my heart rate is going. Straight like that, too. All I hear is in my head, you know, in my ears while I'm asleep. So I'm like, yo, my heart. <laughs> so I'm looking around. I don't see him in the bed. So I'm like, I jump up, sit right. up, and I'm like, calm down. Tell myself to calm down. Tell myself to calm down. So I lay back down, close my eyes again. I'm like, yo, I'm tripping. Maybe it's just the weed. Maybe it's <laughs> the edible. Like, I'm tripping. Right. So I'm laying back down, close my eyes again. But this time it's louder than before and faster. So I'm like, jump up. I'm going like, whew, whew. I'm running down the hallway. I black out. Yeah, Shit, I black that's out. Crazy. I see my daughter right here. I see her, her face clear as day. They think I'm playing yeah. a prank because that's what we do. That's we play we pranks. Do, yeah. We we run around. We play. You know, we play all day. We big kids mm -hmm. right. with kids. Right. Right. So <laughs> she laughing in my face because she think I'm playing. I don't see nothing but. Whatever is up in my face, like close to me. So I'm in the um in the cabinet, like yo, Pastor Sabrina said, if you take an aspirin, then you know, if you're having a heart attack, you take an aspirin, it, it'll help calm down to the ambulance come, right? So I'm in there trying to find the aspirin. He like, calm down, you you just panicking, you panicking. He's what you told me I was doing. Yeah, I thought I thought she was just high, you know. I thought he was, was like, calm me. down, calm down. So I was like, no, no, I'm, I done swallowed the pill instead of chewing it now. So I swallowed it and I'm like, I'm all right, I'm all right. Start going again, bow, bow, bow. Standing up at this point, I done moved all the pills in the dish, put it in the um the dish drainer thingy, all the pills fell in there. So I'm like, yo, I need to chew the ass. <laughs> 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 like, yo, I did it wrong, I did it wrong. I'm supposed to chew it. And he was like, you don't need to take no more aspirin, calm down. You just um, hallucinating, you, you need to calm She's down. Calm and down I said, down, no, down, down, I'm having down. a heart attack. So I'm like, yo, feel my shirt. Right. He felt my shirt and literally you could see my shirt going like this. Bruh, that shit freaked me the hell out cause I'm high my So now myself. he's scared cause he got caught the police. Right. He got hey, caught yeah, the like, 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 we high. high. I'm like. Man, I gotta, I gotta get rid of this shit first before they come. So I'm like, damn, I don't know about calling they ass. Like, what? he kept trying not to do it. He kept trying not to it. I was like, yo, like calling right now? Yeah, right. I said, yes. I said, I'm dying. I said, I had a heart attack, boy. Call him, and he was like. Calm down, calm down. You, I'm telling you, babe, it's just the week. I said, no. I said, Lord, please don't take me. Don't take me, Lord, don't take me. I'm like, yo, call my mama. Call everybody, tell them I love them, because that's really how it felt. Like, I started really, like, every time when I, my heart rate would go up so much to the point where I'll black out. So then I'm facing this way, but when I wake up again, I'm the other way. Yes, it was crazy. Man. I can hear the lady telling him. Telling me to damn check her heart. Her heart. Um, 
I'm like. He like, at this point, he high. Yeah. He can't count. Bro, I just Instead started counting. Us, I just said one, two, three. He was. He was counting all the way to 20. <laughs> I can't feel no damn heartbeat. I'm trying to, I'm rapping on the wrist. He was counting like, the 20. The he was like, all I heard, and then I heard him just praying. Yeah. When Every yeah. time I hear him praying, that's when I come back conscious. Come every back time conscious. when he stopped praying and the lady was like, count, then it was like, I black back out. So then I hear the the um, firefighters came up the stairs. I'm hearing them and I'm like, yo, help me, please. I'm looking at them like, please help me. Right. And they like, it's okay, are you all right? I'm like, no. And then they I'm twitching. Me, what, what, you know. I'm like smoky in a chicken coop like, like on like, Friday. <laughs> Bro, At this point, it's like, yo, help me, damn. nigga. Y'all see me <laughs> over here. Somebody help. Y'all see me. Like, y'all right. see me over here like this. I'm like this. <laughs> going like Bro, this. Going like, down, and then they asking me my name, nigga. He can tell you my name. Right. They like, no, what's your name? And I'm like, tch, tch, tch. Yeah, she couldn't talk. She couldn't, she couldn't speak. I can see y'all, but I can't. They that putting a blood was... pressure cuff on me. Mm -hmm. They can't read it. They was like, she needs to go to the hospital. Look, I still ain't tell them that we ain't smoke. I told him. Look, soon the as, ambulance soon came in there. As soon as she could talk, she said, I smoke weed. I said, we said, damn, we're going to jail. We're going to jail. I said, I'm sorry. I'm like, bro, we going to jail. I looked at him like this. I'm looking at him like, I'm sorry. Like, just help me. Shit. Oh, my God. All right, so we're back. All right, so. Uh, what made y'all get into YouTube and, and TikTok and like basically everything y'all like y'all could y'all basically you know film and capture everything y'all yep. do and stuff. Oh, yeah. So what made y'all get into that? Everybody wanting to see us. Yes. Now, what the YouTube man? People kept telling us, "Y'all oh, need, need to do YouTube. We need to do YouTube." Mm -hmm. That was the first thing. So we um you know we had started watching DNB Nation. CJ, and CJ so, so cool. cool, and we like that. It was like man. they doing that with their family. Right. We can do that too. Right. And we watched them, bro. We watched them come, come up from a down living in an apartment to, to fucking mansions just off of YouTube. You yeah. can see the progress through their videos, and it right. made right. us just be like, yeah, we could do, we that. can do this right. shit, yeah. So, oh, yeah, because it's showing like good, you know, black families right. and stuff like that, doing stuff mm -hmm. together. Yeah, well, yeah, we yeah. wouldn't have to exclude our kids. Right. We let our kids be in it with us. Mm -hmm. yeah, all, and all y'all can grow and bond. God, that's no different than the Kardashian family. Right. 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 <laughs> right. Straight up. No damn deal, because they, like, they got talent. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yo. Yeah. He's just watching them. <laughs> that's it. And yep. that's what people want to see. They want to see us watch. And we end up getting in from YouTube. COVID came. We went to TikTok because... Me and the kids was watching TikToks, and he yes. was like, "Why I keep watching the same video Bruh, that over shit used and over to again?" Piss me off, cause I used to, I used to, I, I used to piss me out too. Yeah, I used to just hear the sound. They and it be different oh videos, God, but the same they, sound. Yeah, the same like, sound. Y'all yeah. supposed to be over here doing YouTube videos, y'all on TikTok. Man, I was so. So hot. for the beginning, Bruh. it was just me and the kids. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden, he jump on there. When he jump on there, I'm like, "Yo, how you got so many followers?" <laughs> And I been on here working, working hard. Working, brushing hard. my ass. Then get you on here, then they like, oh, when you gonna post your first video? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Bro, I ain't even had no video and had like, what, 5,000? Yes, I'm like, yo. So I got a little jelly, I did. You got a little jelly. I got a little jelly. <laughs> okay. I was like, yo, them same ones that's following my husband, <laughs> y'all better work your way over there and follow me too. Straight up. Yeah, Period. Dude. Cause I'm gonna check every <laughs> friend request. Period. <laughs> Yo, y'all can follow him, y'all can follow me. Right. That gotta be the petty. What is the petty as a woman to go? Mm. Like that TikTok. Tell him, tell him. Yo, Keisha. Yes, oh, hell Keisha. yeah. <laughs> Keisha, I can't fuck I with can't you. I can't fuck no with more. you no more. <laughs> Why? Why? You fucking up my family. Thank you. <laughs> Period. We'll go as far as that. Yeah. Put you on camera together. We on camera together, and I'm finna let you let her know together. That shit. Yeah. That's how petty we get. <laughs> so how petty a guy get? Our petty is different. Yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's, man, different. it's different, bro. Like, Our petty is different. Like me, I. 
You get like, you get mad and post on Facebook. Yeah, talking see, shit. I do that type of little <laughs> shit. Be talking be shit, and I be little. like, oh, oh he wrote me to say something. It can not even be nothing about us. That's what he'll her. say when and we mad at each other. He'll write something on right. on Facebook, right? And I be like, shit, this you. me. So you talking about some <laughs> Facebook now? <laughs> hey, I be like, Damn. oh, so you ready for me to say something back, huh? Hey, that should be funny. Like when you upset with your with your spouse, <laughs> and you it don't matter stuff. what you post. What you do, bro, it's gonna be about the, about us. <laughs> That's exactly, bro. I'll be, like, be like, I'm I just had, trying to make a post. Bro, That's I had it. this status for a minute. I wanted to post this bit, <laughs> and she like, oh, you want to post it like that? We mad. Oh, oh lord. Yeah, we be like that. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> it is what it is. I had um. Uh, you ever got questioned by the song? You might hear, you might listen to a song, song more than once. Why you can't listen to that damn song? Bruh, that's why I ain't take my phone in there in the shower no more. I don't even, I don't even do that shit no more. Straight up. That nigga be in there be having a whole concert. Oh. Oh, oh, that's how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> What's that song? Stop playing relatable Say songs. Say you just love right. someone, you Bruh. just don't treat the bad. Oh, so what you saying is, I'm treating you bad you now? You don't know where you want to be at, her. Yeah. Oh, you, where oh, you want to you, be? You so the, where you want to be at? Right. <laughs> and then she play her shit. Then I gotta and hear her play little. Oh, like, yeah, you gotta play the lady. She gotta play the ladies' yep. anthem. Shit, stuff. but I be in that and motherfucker singing. He be singing. <laughs> <laughs> and I be like, turn this shit off. He ain't supposed to be agreeing. Oh. You don't want to be enjoying my fun. And, and. Oh, yeah. But but y'all doing TikTok is really like working for y'all though, right? Yeah. Oh, Cause yeah, he got offered first, and then I got offered. I got some sponsors that offered, reached what you mean out. By, like offered. They pay you. Mm -hmm. So explain that for like TikTok, cause you know uh, for people that know about TikTok, like how you get the offerings and the sponsors and stuff. Is it a certain a, number you got to reach? Yep, okay. it's the following base you have to reach and your likes. I think your likes and your views pay, play on it. Yeah, but because the, to start getting paid, you got to have what the ten thousand followers and, and hundred thousand views. Mint, yeah, the views. Yeah. It give you a whole checklist yep, but, of what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as long as you keep going with them videos, man, you start getting them sponsors later on. That's the shit that be really paying. Like the one I had, they just wanted me to do a video for sixteen hundred dollars. Just one video for sixteen. He missed it. Yep, because yeah. they fucking had. My they had them blocked. Had block. Yeah, I mean, they blocked them quick. Block me, bro. They I'm can't like, stand the? us, bro. Right. Not so, together. Why, so, so why do y'all feel like y'all get blocked? We can't do what they they can do. Right. We Straight can't up. do what they can do. Right. Because they do a lot. Yeah, yeah. and they can yeah. be on there half naked and all that. Right. But the moment that I be with him, and if I dance, dance the wrong shit. way, if I move, it would be like um, inappropriate. So mm -hmm. most of it, they trying to they trying to clean it up to like every. They trying to basically have everybody <laughs> operate in a certain way for that platform. Mm, you can't even say that. Right. You can't say that either. No. Nope. Okay. Because we done seen some nasty stuff on there and reported, yeah. and they say ain't nothing and, wrong with yep. it. Yup. Even seen a damn dad take his kids in the room and act like he shot them. Yeah. And they kept they they, they kept, they kept that, on that shit up there though. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. That shit crazy, man. They blocked me. Shit, they was trying to block me for thirty days. I had to, <laughs> I had to write them. I'm like, shit, y'all messing my money up. Yeah. But, <laughs> Hey, you like Boosie? Hey, hey, no. hey man. Yeah, yeah straight up, man. They got them. Mess, bro, like, bro, like Boosie there. It be bro. weird. It's weird. Because, like, if I post a video and mine get blocked, I'll send it to him. He'll yep. post it on his, and it'll take off. Yep. And it won't get blocked. So, it'd be like. Right. So, we started we started looking into this, too. We were like, damn, maybe it's somebody that's on our shit. That yeah, they don't like us. You know what I'm saying? Because if a certain amount of people. You're going to have haters people, everywhere. Yep. If a certain amount of people report you, report that video, they gonna take it off regardless, even if there's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. So we started shit. I was like, damn, I, I gotta look through this shit just to see who cool. the fuck on here. You know? Yeah, what because I'm we really don't. That's the thing about being open, mm -hmm. because you really don't know who don't watching know. you. Yeah. Right. So it's like it could be this person that couldn't stand you, mm -hmm. but she follow you, right? Or he follow you, right? Mm -hmm. And it it's yeah. open, right? And we are an open book. Right, right. And then the bigger you get, the more open you get. Mm -hmm. right? And you open to everything that comes that way. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's yeah. the thing when you're doing this TikTok shit and YouTube, mm -hmm. there's really no privacy. And see, I was so much a he private was, person. He was against it so, in the beginning. Yeah. Right. But shit, when I start seeing that money, well, really seeing 
when we started watching um, DMB and all that shit, we seeing their progress. I'm like, shit, we gotta do this. Fuck right, it, you right, know, get right. this money. So we won't have to work yeah. for nobody. Cause we right, like, right. damn, you know what I'm saying? See, they they been know about fucking YouTube getting paid. See, if, we learned late. Yeah, cause I'm yeah. like, damn, all them nights I used to stay up to fucking seven in the morning playing the game and shit. Telling them I could get could paid got for paid that shit. Doing that shit. Mm -hmm. Did just sit around and play. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for real. That, but that's one thing that that because that goes back to what we talked about earlier. It goes back to the way the times we were raised at during those mm -hmm. times. You know, they were raised on the fact that you had to go get a job. You know, they raised, hey, you go to school, graduate, either get a job, right. go to college, one of the two. So they ain't, they ain't say shit about entrepreneur. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Straight Who up. That was never, that's I never like, heard that word. <laughs> that's just like. I just found out about the unions, like different unions and shit. I just found that out before I had went to Volvo out there. Right. So that, and I was like, what, 24, 25 then? But I had, just just for this instance, I had two, um, they was 18 year old, two of them. They was, they was brothers or whatever. But they was in my damn training class, both white, and they fucking straight out of high school, bro. Straight out of high school, coming into Volvo making 100,000. Straight, but they know this shit, you know what I'm saying? We are taught to, oh, we gotta go to school to get a good yeah. job Being just dead. to work for somebody else. Right. Being dead. That, right. That's what they teach us, just right. to work for somebody else. Yeah. I've, I've seen, I, I, I've heard, well, I know a case where, uh, well, my wife, she worked at a nuclear plant for over 20 something years. And, um, and they basically, she trained, basically trained the person that got her job. <laughs> that's how they do. That's how they do. That's how they do. And, and the person, you know, but as you know, most of them jobs like that, they normally be a buddy buddy thing. Yeah, you got to buddy who you know. Buddy, buddy who you know. Yep. You know, they bring their sure best enough. friend son in. You know. That's S R S N. And then that's why that why that shit in. crumble. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then a lot of people don't understand, man. Like when you working for those big, you know, you work for those many years and you spend so much money. You you uh, accumulated so many bills to accumulate that type of money you make, and then you lose that job. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard. We was, we was there. <laughs> we was there, but we yeah. was there. Straight that's up. that's another thing that pushed for me to go work so I can help. You want to be in that situation? I wasn't about to let again. him struggle with just everything falling on him. I couldn't do that. Right. Right. It was it was time. Right. Our kids were but it was so bigger. perfect. It, mm -hmm. it, it, everything time. happened. Man, that's why I say, man, you gotta continue having that faith. Continue to pray, mm -hmm. man, because everything just fell in place. Fell in place, bro. Right. Like and the shit, the shit's so crazy out at Vogue. I got laid off because it came down to the the last. Yep, and you know all them motherfuckers. They from Waynesboro and shit. I, you know, I'm from West Virginia. They they had to get rid of me because shit. I, you know, what I'm saying they they want to save their people, which. That shit just a buddy system, man. That's that a buddy system, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No matter how many good ass days and countless right. man mm -hmm. hours, overtime you put in, they don't care. They don't care about none of that shit. They don't care less. Yeah, so, but that, that, that's good. I, I think, what are, what are some things you think we need to teach the kids growing, like now, you know, this generation, you know, some things they need to learn, you know, for the next 10 years or 20 years coming forward? I feel like they got to go. Um, wanting to be their own boss, start looking into it now. Right. Because as you learn it now, the stuff that we had to learn as adults, it's gonna be easier for them. Right, right, right. And one, th and one of my major things that we need to really teach our children, man, is how to handle your credit, man. Credit is such a big part it's becoming more than cash, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They looking at that number, man. So, right. and that's something we don't get taught, you know, yep. when it comes to finances and credit. One of the one of the the best books I ever read was Rich Dad Poor Dad, and I try to install that into our children. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The the shit that they talked about in that book, man, it changed my life financially. You know what I'm saying? It made me look at shit different. So, mm -hmm. right. Right, like we're yeah, not most death, bro. forcing most, our kids death. to go to school. And that credit, like how yeah, our parents, like you said, a lot of my parents, anyway, like, is. oh, you, you know gotta, gotta go to school, gotta go to college. Like, you know what I'm saying? For instance, and I, I, I understand, like they wanna 
break. Get denied. Generational curses. <laughs> a car, like that, house. I just everything that you want. I don't feel own. like school is needed in order to have right. a great life. Yeah, um, right. to be successful. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Because a lot of people, it's, honestly, a lot of it's a lot of people making more money that do we still need school? school. Exactly. Right. Than the ones that did go to school. Yes, <laughs> and then I went to school what three times for different majors, and I didn't like it to end up going back for hair. Going back for hair. So, so you went for three majors and then go back in the last degree, that's what you finally did. Mm -hmm. yeah. I say if you're going to work for somebody, get a skill or a trade that you mm -hmm. can have. Right. That'll to take you. That yeah. you can create right. and start your own. And you can yeah. start your own. Right, right, right. Yes, sir. That's the way to go. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Most definitely, most definitely. Most definitely. And you want to make sure that job has a good security, too. Yep. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, they'll go to school with something that there's not a demand for. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, exactly. You're down right. Like, that's weird. That's weird because medical always would be the number one. Yeah. Yep. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> that's medical. what I always said, too. Nursing. Nursing. Um, Salons. Salon hair. Most yeah, definitely. because everybody always, need their hair done. Always need their hair done. So there's always security in those yep. fields. Yeah. They big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So, before we slide off on Newbie Vet, how can they get in contact with you? And is there any love y'all would like to shout out? Shout out to CMD Gang Gang. CMD Gang Gang. <laughs> gang Gang. But, okay, our YouTube is CMD Gang Gang. You can find us on um, Facebook, CMD Gang Gang. Yeah. YouTube, CMD Gang Gang. Our TikToks are Miss Dimples, M-R-Z-D-I-M-P-L-3-Z, because somebody took my other name. Right. Name and, you. Um, for all social platforms, chosen to lead. It's C H O O Z E N two. The number and, two. Yep. And then lead. That's on everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I, I want to shout out Ladybug Nation. Yes, that's, that's our, our kids. YouTube. So if y'all got kids, make sure y'all subscribe to their channel. We'll definitely appreciate that. Also, the hair salon, Unique Hair Unique Hustlers. Unique Hair Hustlers. Make sure y'all hit them up. Book your appointment. Booksy, Unique Hair Hustlers. Boosies, well, yeah, Boosies, uh, that's what we're at. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Just also want to say appreciate it for having us here, man. Yes, oh, man, no problem, definitely, man. No problem. definitely appreciate that, man. man no I will be back in here. But blessings, right? <laughs> this ain't Straight the first up. time. Oh, this, oh yeah, we <laughs> and it won't be. This the first time, but it won't be the last. Right, the last, man. Most won't definitely. be the last. All right.